Hey guys, what is going on today? Bojo here, back again for another NHL 17 Hockey Ultimate Team pack opening. Got 10 packs in total. We're going to be opening up 10 of these Centennial Classic packs for you guys. Unfortunately, I'm done all those sets already, and I was hoping that there was going to be some better special cards out at the moment, but there's only two, including the Team of the Week. But you know what? They're definitely worthy of my time of trying to get. Milestone Alexander Ovechkin for his thousandth career point, and then Nicholas Backstrom for a three assists and a goal against the Penguins. So, 92 overall player of the game and the 94 overall OV milestone are pretty nice. And the team of the week is still not too bad. Got my man Claude there, Jay Weber, Brain Holpy, and a Patrick Kane to be pulled for the team of the week. So, 13 packs actually. So I got my uh, pre-order packs right here as well, the 20 item ones. So we'll open up these packs right now first, get these over and done with. I'm just going to skip it, Let's see what we're going to get in here. Uh, Patrice Bergeron, why are my pre-order packs as lately getting crazy, crazy luck in these pre-order packs? That's ridiculous. My pre-order pack luck is, it's pretty phenomenal to say the least. Patrice Bergeron out of the first one, which is pretty lit if you guys would ask me. Uh, I did a little bit of editing in my, um, been trying to edit the, the video footage for you guys just a little bit to hopefully cut down on the glare a little bit, but I'm trying my best. Can't really, it's hard to cut down the glare from this TV, man. I'm trying to back up a little bit more and talk a little bit louder in order to cut it down, but it doesn't seem to be working. So we're just gonna have to deal with this for right now. Look into the camera as best as I can and try to just reduce from the glare as best as I possibly can because I know it's annoying for you guys to look on the face cam and see the glare like crazy. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes and I'm just working with my setup basically. I also have a beanie on today and I'm sweating my ass off down my basement. It is hot as balls and I had a bad hair day so I definitely didn't want to do that. Alright, but we got 10 Centen Centennial Classic Packs to open up. Right here, as I just mentioned, I did all the sets already. I have the Willie Mitchell. So I don't really have a need for the collectibles. I might send them to that Quick Sell sets, which might be able to get something good for me or the rare player sets. But 30 gold items, 9 gold rares, and high prospects of the 5 outdoor collectibles in each of these. So if I get a lot of collectibles, it'll be good because I can either. I'll probably just put them into the Quick Sell sets, to be perfectly honest. I don't really see a need to do anything crazy with them. Uh, Ryan O'Reilly there in the first one for 87 overall pull. There's a Flyers collectible right there that really I do not need. But we'll take it and uh, we'll move on to our next one. All right, so our next pack here, let's do another normal one and then we'll move on to a kind of special method for the next pack that we do here. All right, so 77 Spencer Abbott, there's a Jets collectible, Winnebago Jets. Alright, anything else here against some non-rare players? There's a Leafs collectible, Jacob Voracek 87. Yeah, I'm gonna be getting a lot of collectibles, I would think. From all these packs, there's another Jets collectible. Yep, we're gonna be doing a lot of those quick sell sets at the end of this video, I would definitely think so. Alright, so uh, let's do some cleanup here, and then let's move on to our next pack, and we'll see if we can do a method. Alright, so here we go, our next Ultimate Classic pack. You know what, we'll try the Spin pack. The Spin Chair pack. It worked for us last time, so here we go, let's go open nail. Spin the chair, and skip. My freaking headset's all tangled up on the floor. All right, let's see what we're gonna get here. Uh, so we got Forsberg, it's not bad. I should probably save these things as I go. I'll make clean up a little bit easier. Uh, there's another Maple Leafs collectible right there. Cranberg, Cracknell, Marinson, and a lot of the non-rare players, which I don't have, which is always nice to see. Couple jerseys in there, and that's about it. All right, so at least collectible, nothing really too fancy anywhere else, and we can move on to our next one. All right, so spin chair pack didn't really work. Uh, let's go with this one here. I'm gonna do a close my eyes pack. Close the eyes pack. We'll skip it, and I will just shift all the way to the end, so you guys will be able to see what I got. Hopefully, I'm at the end. It's 30 items. It shouldn't take that long to scroll. I'll scroll all the way back again. And we'll see what we got in three, two, one. All right. Uh, ooh, Provy. It's the first time I pulled him this year, so I'm a Prover up. Not too bad. Oilers collectible. I'm not even really going to keep Aaron Eckblad. It's not even worth my time holding on to him. Uh, Grenier. Grenier. Nielsen, Felino. There's a Hawks collectible. 
You have collectibles out the arse. Only I would have did these when they were actually worth something, you know. Oh well, them's the breaks, but that's it for that pack right there. Quick sell, and we move on to the next one. Alright, let's do a, uh, let's open it up regularly, and we're just gonna fly right through this next pack. All the way to the end, we're gonna do the real like, quick follow through here. Here we go, let's go through all these cards, see if I see anything going through. Didn't see anything particularly. Great Ben Hutton, Jeff Skinner. Uh, let's see, there's Islanders, Jersey, Marco Dano. Anything? Jesus, Yarmir Yager, Zook. And that's about it. Ooh, wow, we are getting lit right now. Not in the good way either, we're getting lit up. Alright, how many packs we got left? Five? Alright, so we're halfway done, halfway done. Good thing is we're getting like 7k quick sell off of each of these packs, which is nice. Here we go, regular normal one. Gonna do like two, the, two cards at a time. All right, Matt Helmwick in the jersey, Lekin in. There's a St. Louis Blues collectible. All right. Uh, okay, a couple of non-rare gold players that I don't need. Devin Dubnik. Showing superior goaltender in the battle between Carey Price. Carey Price lined up seven goals in that game. Crazy. First time I think he's done that in a long, long time they gave up seven goals. All right, nothing too fantastic in this pack. I think there were a couple 87s in there. Non-rare players that I had. Yeah, Kessler and Spatza. That was about it. Let's move on. All right, four packs left. All right, Austin Matthews. Give me a Mr. Alexander Ovechkin in this pack here. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for an Alexander Ovechkin. That's a good start with a Chicago Blackhawks collectible. One, two, three. Three at a time. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three. Nothing. One, two, three. We're two that time. One, two, three. Uh, okay, still not in our players. Dubnik again. Logos. Jersey, Rick Nash, that's about it, and Hosa to end things off. Uh, you know what, let's do another kind of fly-through pack, here we go. Doing our fly-through pack, boom, let's go through all these, I saw Mikhail Granlin there, anybody else at the end here? Jesus, man, all these non-rare players, but then when we get our rare players, nobody really great, Jesus, man. How many rare players do we get in each of these packs too? I completely and utterly forget. Well, I got a lot of non-rare players that I don't have. Collectible, Brandon Sod. Don't be Sod, but I am Sod. And another bummer of a pack right there. Alright, we got two packs left. We gotta get something here. We gotta get something here. Two packs left. Alright, let's do another... Let's just do a skip pack. And skip it. Alright, I'm gonna fly through it. All the way to the end for you guys. So you guys saw everything I got. And let's slide all the way back to the beginning again. And three, two, one. All right, we'll get another collectible right there. Another Oilers one. Marion Hosa again. Hold on to those things. De La Rose and Carlo. Pittsburgh Penguins. Collectible right there. Ribouche, Zach Hyman, the Penguins collectible again. Hold on to that Denmark jersey. Bullig, Brian Boyle, the Nuge. And that's about it. Jesus, man. These rare players, the rare players that we're getting are not good. We're not even getting any like really good rare players. We haven't gotten anybody higher than 87. It's just a ton, ton, ton of collectibles. All right, here we go. Last ultimate classic pack. I'm just gonna go one at a time. I think you get nine rares. I think if I remember reading the pack correctly. All right, so first one's Jenner, Domi, Jacob Borchek again, Eric Stepan, Louis Erickson. Oh man, not a good start. Bacchus, Truba, and Barkov. That's probably it. Hubert, oh, that's probably it right there. That's probably all our rares. Eh, Fanuff was our last one. Nope, Talbot was. Just kidding. Yep, that's about it. Justin Williams was the last one. Man, we got kind of we got kind of screwed on those packs, man. For real, we got screwed on those packs. Nothing really great pull wise, but I mean we did get a shite ton of collectibles, which is always always nice. But I was hoping for some uh, for some good pulls. But you know what? We have a ton of collectibles. None of them really are worth selling because they're all going for like literally 15k. So you know what? Let's test our luck here a bit. Let's go to the sets. And you know what? I'm feeling a little bit frisky with these sets. So I think I'm going to do the uh, the quick sell, the coin bonanza packs for the quick sell rewards. That's actually the only thing you can do is either re-roll them. Yeah, you can't trade them in for rare players. You can only do the you can only do them for coins. So you know what? We'll take it. All right, so let's take some time to send all these collectibles in because I probably have a ton of them let me see how many do I have 14 in total all right so this is going to be very very fun 
Let me take some time to do this for you guys, and uh, we'll be back as we open up our Coin Bonanza sets. Alright guys, so I traded in all those collectibles, and I have 14 Coin Bonanza packs. Now, from what I've been told, and from what I've been told by some guys at EA, you have a chance to get between, I think, 100 and, one, and, 100 and 200k coins from these Bonanza packs. Now, I've done a couple of them in the past, and I don't think I got anything higher than like 5k or 7k for one of them before. So we got 14 to go here. I mean, these collectibles worth, are not really worth anything right now. 10k at the very, very max. So anything that we do get from here, coin-wise, you know, just, just a little bit of extra coinage in my pocket. So we got 4k on the first one. Okay. Next one, we're going to get 3.5. All right. So we're up to a 7.5k total. It's good. Get a running tally, why don't we skip 2k? <laughs> yeah, between 100 and 200k coins. And I haven't gotten anything higher than 5 right now, 3k. I said I was going to keep a running total. That went out the window right now. 3k again, Jesus, man. It's such a joke. It's such a joke, honestly, when they tell, when they tell you it's between this amount and this amount. And literally, I haven't gotten anything higher than 5k at this point nothing higher than 5k at the point at this moment in time 4k it's like it's it they maybe they meant between 1k and, and 20k or 100 coins in like 20k because because that's pretty funny that you're only getting this amount of coins right now it is pretty laughable to be honest you get more from quick selling those packs you get more from from selling these on the market and you know getting more that way but you know what Trying my luck, testing the rumors. We're almost done already. We only got four more left to go. Uh, ooh, we finally hit a 5K, boys. We're, 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 we're running hot right now. Finally got 5K. One of those quick sell ones, 3.5. Out of 14, 14 of these things, highest has been 5K on the quick sell, 4.5. And they say it comes between 100 coins and 200K total, 1.5. That's pretty, that's pretty funny, man. That's pretty funny. 100 and 200k coins, those things have the odds for your collectibles to be traded in. To get close to, nothing over 5k out of 14 of them. Oh man, what are you gonna do? Get any aid, I suppose. But thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe as always. I know you guys want to see my team, so I'll give a team update probably within a uh, in another video. Well, as a side note, but thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh!